Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. Today we're in Bath. Yes. I'm doing the Bath Half Marathon with my little sister. It's her um, birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday to you. We kind of celebrated it over the weekend. We've been staying in this lovely place in Bath, it's a bit dark at the moment, and it is chucking it down with rain, but that is race morning for you. Just gonna get some porridge on. It's about 20 past seven in the morning, so about three hours before the race. And yeah, these are conditions at the moment. Hopefully they get a little bit better. Lovely view. Get your birthday hat on. That'll do. Right, everyone ready to rock? Let's go. Six, seven, one, eight. How are you feeling? A little bit nervous, but I think it's because I'm not sure what the course is like. Yeah, we've been told it's flat, but then we walked around Bath yesterday and it was like, it was, we didn't see a single bit of flat ground. So, so I'm a bit nervous. Yeah, and what is the goal of the race? The goal is to run six kilometer pace, which should be two hours, six minutes. And that's your, your PB's 209. 209. Okay, cool. So, so can she beat 209? And my goal is to hopefully get somewhere close to my PB. I don't think I'm quite in PB shape just yet, um, but I'm training for the longer stuff, the marathon. So today's a bit of a tune-up race with Copenhagen uh, in seven weeks' time. So I basically got a free hit, um, go out at PB pace and see how long I can ha hold on for. But um, yeah, around 312 to 314 per kilometer is, is going to be the aim, which is a little bit daunting considering on Thursday I struggled to do that for 3k but I'm sure the race day I've had a few days off um, a few days easy so you never know what can happen on race day but we'll see Ooh, it's a lovely day gonna need a hat on that's for sure team Varga of course <laughs> this is the sort of weather that when you're in the start line you get really wet so the first stop is the park and ride coming out this way yeah. Um, so yeah, we're just going to hop onto a bus into the city centre and then um, head to, towards the start line. We've got plenty of time, got over uh, two hours before the start of the race, so yeah, luxury, eh? <laughs> Don't talk to me before I've had my coffee. <laughs> I'm just out for a bit of a warm up. The weather really has picked up considering how horrible it was this morning, but just doing my usual 3K sort of jog, easy run, a few strides and drills, and then I'll be ready to go. I think the main thing for me about the warm up is just staying relaxed um, and doing what I do before I do sessions, workouts, just keeping it all the same. Hi, mate. Right, Cheers, mate, thank you. Um, yeah, just keep it all the same, get in the right headspace and get ready to rock. So, we've got about 40 minutes still till the start of the race, so plenty of time. I'm going to take this 30 minutes before, and then that's it. Get to the start line. Just made it down to the pens. Apparently, because I've got a little B on my um, number, it means I've got a a smaller entrance so i've got to try and locate that look out for an army guy apparently but the main white wave is up there the elites are going to be down there and i think i'm just behind the elite wave so yeah should be a, a good view of the of the start line but 20 minutes to go feeling good should be a, should be a good race Benji has started. I'm waiting about 1k along. Hopefully you'll be here in a sec.
There we go, just finished the bath half. Not bad, didn't feel terrible but didn't feel great. I think that was a pretty honest effort for today. I think I averaged 3.15 per K for a, around 68 minutes, 50. So just under the 69 minutes today and about a minute and a minute and a half of my personal best. So on a hilly course and in marathon training, I'm, I'm pretty chuffed with that. Not a bad effort. Probably about, I reckon, 40th place. So yeah, gonna get my medal, uh, get some water and then to try and find Ellie, see how she's getting on out there. Still got a little bit to go, but yeah, really good, enjoyed that. How are you feeling? Yeah, not bad, that's pretty I good. Really, yeah? Felt pretty good, yeah. Yeah? Not a PB, but... You look good, they look yeah. strong yeah, though. Yeah, felt, felt, felt <laughs> well, mate, good running. Nice, well done. Woo! I just remembered the elite ladies are just about to come in. See how Becky Briggs is getting on, see if she can get the dub. Um, it's currently quite a bad, pretty good. It's lovely running next to you, I just oh. pretend my name's Ben. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, man. Good to see you. <laughs> um, but yeah, you'll see if we can find the elite ladies. Yeah. Yes, Becky, well done. We just saw Ellie cross the line. I think she might have actually snuck under a PB there. And have you told them about this? She's doing well. I said if she gets a PB, I'll give her 50 quid. So uh, she could have won 50 quid. We're going to go find her. But um, yeah, what a finish. Considering I think she had to walk a little bit. She was flying across that finish line. Yeah, birthday girl. Well done. How are you feeling? Dead. Well done. It's my birthday. You, you do know you've got it on backwards. Yeah. There we go. That's better. Good job, Ellie. Can see the bling. Not bad. So it's a few days after the Bath Half Marathon. I had a really nice weekend down there with my family, um, celebrating my sister's 21st, 22nd birthday. I think both of us missed our PBs by a couple of minutes. Um, my sister ran two hours 13 and her PB was 209. And I ran 68.53 and my personal best is 67.15. So all in all, a good weekend, no PBs, but we had a really good time. I uh, just want to say a big thank you to everyone who sent in clips. It's much appreciated and it's always nice to hear my name being cheered out on the course. Even if in the moment I may not acknowledge it, I, I hear it and it helps push me on in the races. So yeah, big thank you to everyone who sent footage and cheered me on. In terms of how the race went for me, I was fairly happy with how things went at this stage in the training. I'm only four weeks into the sort of hard training for Copenhagen and I've still got seven weeks to go. So at this point in the training, 68.53 is probably roughly where I'm at. I was hoping to maybe run a little bit faster, I can't lie, um, but with the undulating course and how I'd been feeling in the week building up to the race, um, I was pretty content with the result. If you saw the previous video on the channel uh, where I did a 3K workout with Nick Bester, I was struggling to hold the pace that I held for the half marathon over 3K reps on the Thursday. So yeah, to hold that over 21K, I was fairly happy. I think my body was telling me I was coming down with something throughout the week or maybe I'd been overdoing training a little bit. Um, so it was nice to back off a little bit leading into the bath half. Almost have a slight down week with that hard race effort at the end of it. And then I can build now again into the weeks that follow. So yeah, all in all, a really good race. Um, I would highly recommend the bath half marathon in terms of atmosphere. The level of competition was incredible. The course isn't necessarily super fast. It's quite undulating and then you've got that huge off hill at the end, um, which I did not enjoy, I must admit, but um, other than that, it was a really good weekend. Um, but until next time, aspire to run, run to inspire, and we'll see you again soon.